everyone. My name is Maya Mata. I'm a senior at Reyes Beck Aviation High School and an alumni of Sylvester Middle School in Burien. It's been nearly seven months since I've been to school or interacted normally with family and friends, and I know it's the same for all of you. I really wish we could have been in person today, honoring and learning from all the people making strides to better our environment and world. But I think it serves as a powerful, powerful symbol that we're all here gathered virtually. The environmental challenges we're facing today are rooted in a long history of not properly taking care of our planet. We see this through COVID, wildfires, the water crisis around the country. Now more than ever, we see the impacts of climate change in our communities and especially the most vulnerable within our communities. We are beyond having debates. It's not a matter whether you believe in the science or not. It's a matter of what you are going to do about it. And if I can highlight one thing, it's that if we want to redress this and find solutions to the challenges we're facing today, we need to look to our younger generations. My generation will one day lead this country and this world, and we have the chance to make a powerful impact today. The world is often overcrowded by adult voices. Our society overlooks the student voice when discussing challenges that face our communities. It's my generation who is hit the hardest by the actions or inactions of others, but it is also my generation that can bring the most creative solutions, the most needed solutions. Environmental education in the classroom is not only valuable, but necessary to redress the climate crisis that we are living through. When environmental education is a fundamental part of student learning, young people take notice of the issues surrounding them and are then prepared to act for change. Why wouldn't we teach students to take care of the planet just like we teach them math? Our students need to understand the environmental issues and why they occur in order to stand up and fight for better. My eighth grade science teacher, Ms. Phelan, challenged me to think about how I interact with our environment both positively and negatively. My classmates and I may have not been fully engaged throughout all our science lessons, but for most kids in the class, this was their first awakening to climate change, just like it was mine. And looking back, this class had a significant impact on how I interact with our environment today. When we focus on making the environment a priority in educational spaces, it translates into action. The future of how my fellow classmates and I will shape environmental policies, educational curriculum, and business operations depends on it. We must take this stride because without collective fortitude, history is bound to repeat itself, and we cannot afford to repeat this part of history. Thank you all for your time tonight, and I hope that if you take one thing away, it's that you invest into our young generations and equip them to remedy the challenges we're facing because they will surprise you. I'm confident to say they will be the answer we are all desperately looking for. Thank you.